11 News at noon. Welcome back, everybody. We're joined now by a couple of people here. We've got more people than we're used to, but we've got Richard Barker here, the incredible hypnotist. He's here for the Jerome County Fair. Jerome County Fair. Back, right? Because Back. I've been at that fair since 2011. Awesome. On and off. On and off. But yes. we had you last year, and we're happy to have you back. Thank you. We've got a couple of volunteers here because when you bring a hypnotist on the show, right? We yeah. got to we got to do some, some sure, hypnosis, of course, right? Of so we've got Tiffany here, who is came here with Richard from the fair, right? Yes. yes. Yep. And we've got Rachel, who you all know, Rachel Fabby here, one of our reporters. So first, tell me a little bit about what you do at the fair. So at the fair, it's permission for people to have a good time, to have fun, obviously connect with friends and family. But during the show, I use the audience members to come and be volunteers, and basically they star in their own shows. That's fantastic. And that's a lot of fun. I think that's what people kind of want from a hypnotist yeah. show. I, th I think one of the benefits is obviously, you know, laughter is the medicine of the soul, so it's a feel-good factor. But what I've noticed is, you know, to actually star in your own show, it's very interactive. So now, you know, rather than just watching a performance, you're in it. So, of course, it heightens that sort of sense of enjoyment for the audience because they, they know people that are in the show. Absolutely. Okay, so we're going to let you kind of do some demonstration sure. here. Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you kind of take over for a sec. Have you ever been hypnotized before? No. Okay, welcome. Uh, Tiffany has. In fact, Tiffany was in the show last night, and I gave her what's called an anchored suggestion. And what that is, it's a trigger word that we use in therapy as well to help people with, you know, stop smoking, weight loss. So Tiffany's going to be easy because she's anchored, and she already knows it's coming. But she's anchored on a word and a suggestion I gave her yesterday, right, Tiffany? And sleep, just relaxing, Tiffany, all the way down, loose and limp, let it go. So that's just the anchor word of sleep, loose and limp, just like a rag doll. The deeper you go, and the better you feel. And uh, for yourself, I just want you to um, visualize, imagine, think, feel, create. I know that's a lot. But all I want you to do is follow simple instructions and directions. And I just want you to focus on a fixed point. So maybe it's a light or something in the room. So eye fixation is the sort of beginning of okay. the process. And then just begin to take deep breaths in. And once you've found the object, stare at it. And I'm going to ask you to take three deep breaths in. One, two, and three. Breathe in. Good. Just breathe out. Just relax. Keep staring at the chosen object. Take another deep breath in. That's right, just breathe out again, and on the third breath in, take a deep breath in. Just close your eyes, just relax, allow your heavy head to rest down to your chest and just feel yourself relaxing. Now the mind controls the body, so whatever you're thinking, feeling, and doing controls the rest of your body. Now in a second, but not yet, I want to focus on the soft muscle tissue surrounding your eyes, known as your eyelids, and I want you to imagine your eyes are becoming heavier and heavier and heavier. Now in a few moments, I want you to realize your eyes are stuck. Lock shut tight down to your cheek. Using your imagination, I want you to think and feel that your eyes are sticking all the way down to your cheek. Now in a few moments, when you try and open your eyes, I want you to realize in a few seconds, the more you try, the more you fail. And in fact, the more you fail, the more you try. You see, the more you visualize your eyes to remain stuck, mm -hmm. the more they actually do become stuck. The mind takes over and the brain actually believes it and achieves it. And the more you try and open your eyes in a few moments, the more you'll feel your eyes remaining stuck. Now in a few seconds, but not yet, uh, was it Rachel? Rachel. Rachel, yeah. on the count of three, just open your eyes, one, two, and three. Now in a second, but not yet, I'm gonna give you a trigger word. The, eye, the word's gonna be eyes open, fully alert, at which point Tiff will be back to normal. Eyes open wide awake, <laughs> fully back to normal. <laughs> so that's kind of just a brief demonstration. Um, there's an anchor trigger word in there that would keep her going right back into where she just mm -hmm. came from. Obviously, I worked with her completely a for 45 minutes. Sounds great. Yeah. Awesome. Well, so you'll be at the Jerome County Fair? Yes. Yeah, last night, tonight? Yes, yeah, so I'm at the Jerome County Fair every night through Saturday. Through Saturday. Shows are at 7 and 10. Awesome.